Coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors and they were just finishing up a 1966 Chevelle I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around we'll take a quick look at it. What about that? You know, it, this body style just never was my thing. I like the, uh, you know, like the 60, what, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, that was in there. But this body style just never did much for me. But man, you get the stance right and some cool wheels on it, kind of throw a little street machine attitude at it, I'm a fan. Nice and clean up underneath there. But obviously the car was built to drive. And I think it's worth noting, I think that's the same color as the wheels on the SSUV, except for we put satin on it and they put shiny. And speaking of wheels, I know you always are asking about wheels, tire size. So I threw a couple clips of the uh, tires and wheels in there. Bear brakes gets a little uh, screen time for free also. It's a good looking setup. Good looking car all the way around. I'm just, uh, I'm a fan. It was one of those ones that uh, when it came into Steve's, every time I'd go out there and shoot a car, I kept asking him, when are you going to have that Chevelle done? <laughs> When's that Chevelle coming? I'm going to be in town, aren't I? Nice and clean, little upgraded up underneath the front there with some Detroit Speed parts. I dig the color, and you don't have to do any body mods or anything. These cars are just cool from the factory. Get the stance right, put some cool wheels on them, and voila. Let me go get Steve. We'll talk about this interior. Steve, I really like this one. This is a little bit different than what you normally put out. Thank you, Scotty. Yeah, we've done a little bit something different on this one. I've never seen you use that rope material before. Very little in a couple of cars, but nothing like we did on this one. You know, we tried to, the car is an orange, you know, that burnt orange with just black, no chrome or anything on it. So we tried to carry that through on the interior theme, you know, so. Right. No, I like it and I like the, the opposing colors. It really, I don't know, it really pops. It's got a really cool look to it. Well, Mike Bates out of um, Indiana, he'd come down and him and his wife, they picked out the copper finesse and then the, the harvest for an accent color and then wanted black stitch so I'm like well the black stitch wasn't really quite enough to bring out the black on the outside so I decided to go with the uh, that material on the other all the other black and you normally where we put the accent trim at that's accent trim covered right. in that black right right so it looked really neat instead of polishing it and it carried the theme with the outside of the car no, like I said, when I first walked up to it, I was just wowed by it. I always am, you know what I'm saying? I'm always yeah. impressed by y'all's interiors. But this one, like I said, just has this really dramatic look to it that I, that fits the build. And you're not dealing with a black or a silver car. You had to come up with something unique and use the right shades and the right colors to make that work. Yeah, and to make it a street machine-y looking, you know, type of interior, you needed a little bit of that black just to carry the inside, you know, the exterior and the interior together. Right on. And, What'd uh, you do to the headliner? Headliner's all black leather. Okay. We did the deck lid in all black. If you can see on the insert of the headliner, it's got a cloth insert and then black leather all around it and the sail panels are black also. And then the speaker grills, we used a, uh, a slotted metal and it had it powder coated black. Okay. So it won't come off there. No, that looks good. And then we used the black uh, powder coated uh, handles from Low Car and uh, it, all, it all turned out nice. No, it did. And then you had to tie that carbon fiber in too. Yeah, and it's sort of by itself, and now with all the other black in there, and then that accent material, I think it blends in really nice. No, it looks very good. I like it. Tell me what y'all did in the trunk. Well, in the trunk, that's a huge trunk on this 66 Chevelle. Right. I mean, it's big. So, made a compartment under the floor. It's got access doors to the battery and to the amp on each side of the car. And then in the very back, you can pull it out and get access to your subwoofer. So other than that, you got, you got plenty of space for storage and uh, cleaning supplies or whatever underneath the carpet piece. Yeah, and no, the, what's cool is you didn't lose any of the trunk. You just picked up all these extra little storage yeah. in it. Yeah. No, that's well, great. normally, I mean, if you just done the floor all the way down and, you know, on your sides, you really don't have nowhere to put something. But yeah. right on top of your carpet, you can't really hide anything or put anything up. Yeah. So No, you and the boys rocked another one. Well, I appreciate it, Scotty. LS3 under the hood. 
nice and clean, tidy up underneath here, but not overdone. You know, the firewall's been flattened and, uh, you know, most of the stuff's been removed. And I would guess that, you know, over time he'll probably, uh, you know, maybe change that red lettering to match the body color, something like that. But great start underneath here. Just what you need, the LS3 motor, wire it, fire it, and drive it down the road, as they say. And they did a very nice job, clean job installing it, too. It looks good up under here. So there you go, a 1966 Chevrolet Chevelle from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.